Mr. Levy. My name's Camille. I'm here from Respiratory to give you a breathing Hello. treatment right now. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling okay. I'm a little short of breath. Okay. Well, this breathing treatment will help you hopefully get that breath back, open up your lungs a little bit, and help you breathe a little bit easier, okay? Okay. So most of what we do is we simulate hospital environments for students. So this room that I'm in here now is one that we use for maternity simulations. We have one for pediatrics. We have several for adults. They've built upon each sim and they, we've been able to start at a basic level. Okay, this person needs their vital signs done. Okay, now this person needs to have, you know, CPR, you know, and now this person needs to NG too. So just go ahead and breathe tight lips around the mouthpiece and breathe in and out. Here in the sim lab, I can get a standardized experience for everybody. I'm able to watch what they do, and I'm able to correct mistakes and give feedback, positive and negative, right away. Because there was definitely a lot of simple things such as just introducing yourself to the patient, practicing some of the like most basic standard of safety protocols that you know you don't want to go into your first clinical setting and already forget to make sure you have the right patient and asking if they have allergies. Just having a lot of those things already memorized in your brain, then you're already one step ahead of the game when it comes to practicing other stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go through your, uh, uh, which nostril is best for you? And it's actually a really good thing for students because they can practice multiple times. So if they need a, a do-over, they can do it. Um, they can end on being successful. So, um, you know, if something didn't turn out quite right, you know, we sometimes redo the simulation so that they end on a real positive note. You know, we're going to be able to walk into that real patient's room and say, I know exactly how to do this because I practiced this in the sim lab and I identified that breath sound or that heart sound and I know that this is right. It will definitely change how we walk into the room and perform our responsibilities.